Imagine having a virtual SEO content writing team. I've talked about this before. I designed one version. It was too big. It was too much. It didn't work. I broke it trying to fix it. Took a little while off. Streamlined it and I think I've actually got it this time. Okay, for reference, this monster, what the frick thing, was the first one. And this didn't even have images and it was just, it was too much. It was way too much, but I've definitely fixed that. Introducing the new content writing team. Here's how we did it. First, we have a form. I don't use JotForm anymore. Fill out forms uh, is way better and cheaper and awesome. It just has three questions, the topic, the topic search term, and the additional context. That information gets passed to a Google search. That Google search looks for the latest three headlines of articles that were written in the last 90 days. Then we use Google Gemini to determine what the focus keyword is based on that information. Then we use Google Gemini again to provide a list of semantic SEO keywords. So it turns out that AI is pretty bad at repeating the same keyword over and over again. And that's a bad strategy anyway. Now that everything is moving to AI, semantic SEO is going to be far more important. The content manager agent decides on the angle of the article. And I use tree of thought, third agent decision to have GPT write a title, Claude write a title. Then Google Gemini gets all of the information from the form and the previous API calls and those two titles, and then decides which one is best based on readability, clarity, semantic SEO, and persuasive language. Models Lab generates the main image. This is a voice flow database that has a bunch of articles that I've written in it. Here's Claude's system prompt, uh, where it essentially tells Claude to use the following information as context to inform the tone and personality of the writing. And then it's just writing samples from two of my articles as well as a description of tone and values. Then I do a perplexity web search to get some up-to-date context. Then I give all of the article information to Claude. This is gonna be the title, the keywords, expert knowledge, which is the data chunks from my writing, a perplexity web context, and then it asks for an outline, basically eight subheaders. One by one, each section is written by Claude. However, the previous sections are included in the call, and then it's reminded of what the next section is going to be, so it's all a logical flow, and it doesn't repeat anything it's already talked about. And then the article is published in draft form on my website. I need to play around with the output to make it not be just blocks of text, so I need to prompt Claude to add some bulleted lists and other formats in there. But this is an incredibly well-written article in my opinion. The symbiotic relationship between AI and marketing psychology, that's the first H2, decoding consumer behavior, the emotional quotient, AI's role in sentiment analysis. And obviously I'd have to come in here and like orient this on the left and resize it. Case studies, the future of AI powered marketing. So uh, it's a really, really long and robust article. Well-written article flows logically. But here's the thing that I'm most excited about. If we look at this list of semantic SEO keywords, search that first one. And it is mentioned in the article at least a couple times. Now let's look at the second one, quite a few times. Third keyword, it's another one of the semantic keywords. So this is very well optimized for semantic SEO, and that's awesome. So after I make just a couple more tweaks to make the articles look better, this is going to be my virtual content writing team moving forward. Tell me what you guys think. Cheers.